What is happening everybody? Josh here from Spawn Fly Fish and today we're back with another product showcase. Today we've talked about this product for years now. We wrote a blog for A-Rex the second it was released. This is a platform for success. So today we are going to unbox this as they say and get from this to this. So follow us along. We're going to show you how to do this and then we're going to show you how to use it on the water. All right, so we got our bag here that the Flexi Stripper comes in. So first things we're gonna do is we're gonna take everything out of the bag. Really simple here. We got our platform. Let's set this to the side a little bit. We got our pegs, which we will utilize first. And then we have the belt that it comes with. Belt's kind of a one size fits all too. Just, I know we would get that question. All right, so the setup is a very simple process. You will need one tool. We recommend that you use a pair of scissors and we will show you exactly why. So we're gonna open up all of our pegs here. Be careful when you're cutting these, you do get one extra. So if you accidentally like slice it open, you only get one gimme. So be, be mindful of that as you're cutting these. So what we're gonna do and why it's important to have the scissors, if you're just to pull this off, a lot of times it leaves a bit of tag end here on the on the rubber. So we don't want that tag end. When we when we put the peg into the bottom of the flexi stripper, we want there to be a very smooth transition here. So that fly line when it comes underneath doesn't get caught and it's easy to shoot out in a nice cast immediately. So what we're going to do here, we're going to take a nice pair of our fly tying scissors. Most scissors will work just fine. And as you can see, we got a nice clean cut here. So we're gonna go through here. We're gonna get as close to that peg as we possibly can. And we're just gonna cut all of these off. Alrighty, we got a pile of pegs now. We've taken our scissors, we've cleanly cut these pegs out from the bars that they come on. This is now garbage. You do not need this. We will, uh, I wasn't paying attention, missed a few pegs. So be sure you get all the pegs. Like I said earlier, you only get one extra. So we got all our pegs, we got our platform here. We're ready to put it all together. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna turn it upside down and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna insert the peg. We, I like to push it down to about there and then I like to turn this and pull it through. So that creates a really smooth bump. It's in there securely, it's not going anywhere. So it really, really brings that in there. We've never had any fallout. Again, use these for years. So Arex has pre-drilled all of these holes in the platform. You get to decide how many pegs you want, but my recommendation to you would be that Arex did a very good job. This isn't a random pattern of pegs. I like to fill every peg up with all of the with all of these rubber pegs that I have. So go through, put every hole, put a peg in every hole, and ensure that you will be ready to rock and roll on the water. So I'm gonna do that right now, and then we'll show you the last step here that is needed to bring this life, this product to life. All right, so this might happen. So, as you can see, there's a little bit of a tag that's created from the from the rubber. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna back this one out because it's not fitting perfectly and there's a little ridge there that you that you didn't cut properly or I didn't cut properly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that out and just trim that a bit closer. So you want it really, really smooth. So if you have one that's not fully going in there, take it out, give it a quick trim, and look at that. 
That's what we want. We want that flush peg sitting in there really nicely. So keep those scissors handy so that you can finish the, finish the job the way that you want it to be and have a product that functions like it should. Almost done here, so bear with us. Four more pegs. And we are ready for the final piece here. Alrighty. Pegs are set. Like I said, we have that one extra here. So be mindful that you do have an extra. Like I said, we've never had any break, but I have kept my extras uh, just in case. Alrighty, so one size fits all belt. We're gonna take this baby out, get rid of the uh, plastic bag there. So you can see this is a pretty long belt here. So we are going to insert this here. So it's just a simple slide, and it is a very it is a very comfortable it is a very comfortable uh, belt here. I'm sure you could get away with using your own, but this does a good job. So we're there. We got us here. Simply under and over. And we will have a little elastic strap here to bring it all together. And that's how you do it. There's an Arex Flexi Stripper. Here's one here. We got these two set up. Look really good. It's a clean product and it works extremely well. And if you follow us next, we're going to show you how it works extremely well. Alrighty guys, we are back here. Really windy outside, tried to film us on the water, couldn't hear what we were saying. We want to get this out so you can get out there and be successful. So, this is how I prefer to wear the Flexi Stripper. If you think about where you're going to line it up, picture your shoulder blade and go straight down from it. That's where I want the center of this Flexi Stripper to be. I've seen people wear it on their leg, I've seen people wear it a little bit more to the side, and I've seen people use it in front. I'll tell you why I like it here. So, here's your rod. Picture me cast, long cast out there. If you think about a conventional uh, stripping basket, it changes the way you retrieve. So this is a platform, not a stripping basket. So if you think about when you're stripping into a basket, you have to have your offhand guide the line into the basket. I don't like to do that. and. And it was one of the main reasons I never used a stripping basket in Puget Sound until the Flexi Stripper. So, what we're doing here is we're just letting it fall. I'm not even looking at the basket. I'm naturally stripping. I can do little ones. I can do big ones. It doesn't matter. And the thing is, see, it, it's not going to catch all of it. But it catches most of it. And that's what you need to be successful. So that when you reload to cast out there again, it's going to pull all this out and be a perfect cast to that rising fish or jumping fish or boiling fish or just a spot where you think there might be a fish. So that's what, that's what we do. That's how we like it. Just really easy. Don't even look at it. Your fingertips kind of brush it. Kind of feels nice. It's really cool and it'll bring you success out there. So hope you liked this video. Hope you learned something today. If you haven't picked one of these up from us already, be sure to look in the link in our bio and they will be there. This is a platform for success and we know you'll love it. Be sure to hit like and subscribe.